have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> Hi guys, so I wanted to start organizing and purging a lot of areas in our home and um, decluttering. I don't know why I say purging all the time, but um, decluttering some areas in our home. And this is going to be the first spot um, that I'm going to start with. I wanted to do this during quarantine anyway, even though we are... This is so much like my regular life anyway. Um, staying in the house or just doing certain things. So anyway, y'all, this is our junk drawer. I had, I had to look through all my many pictures and see if I can find where I organized this drawer, but I never upload that video. Um, I don't know if I still have the footage or not. I did record these drawers. Now I know I have really long drawers. Um, they're not the average kitchen drawers. And so, I was trying to get rid, JJ's, JJ's making him some bacon, trying to get rid of the drunk drawer altogether, but um, what I'm going to do with this drawer now is, well, let me say what I did before. What I did before is I had like um, some office stuff, some pens, some pencils, and I also had some... What did I have in here before y'all? Oh, stuff like hammers and stuff. So it is a hammer in here. Rulers, measuring tape, stuff like that. Um, stuff like this that the kids can get too quickly. Um, but they don't need all this stuff down here anymore. I can put this stuff in my craft room. Okay, so then I also on one side I had like all of my dish towels. I do have a little area over there. But I um, only have a few left in here that I don't use. And my trivets over here and what my family does is they go like this y'all when they looking for something here they go this is what they do and i have straightened this drawer so many times so what i'm going to do now is all of the hardware stuff is going out to the garage all the stationery is going upstairs um i'm just only putting bare necessity stuff in here and what i want to do since we're living in a new age of time oh sorry y'all new age of time i'm going to put stuff in here like our mask our gloves, our sanitizer, um, some Kleenex, some stuff I got sitting up here that I slid down, um, the emergency, stuff like this will be in this drawer. Um, Jason and I wear eyeglasses, JJ is supposed to too, so stuff like that that I can grab really quickly, um, sanitizer, stuff like this, just some other sanitizer. That's what I'm going to put in this drawer. and. Right now, I have been keeping my husband and them. They love to work out, so they got the quarantine. I don't really like it here, but it's here for right now. Um, and fiber and all that stuff, that's what all this stuff is. So, I have been keeping my rags, dish towels and stuff, in these little bins. And then, let me just roll this around. And all of my towels that I used to keep in the drawer, I've been keeping them in these little bins here so I don't necessarily like it I was thinking about painting to this y'all I'm ready to paint these cabinets but I'm not gonna do it right now but painting this a lighter color but I'm gonna leave it just like that anyway y'all I'm going to declutter this and show you guys the after I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do the process or not I don't know maybe a little bit of it and this will be our first organization decluttering project everything in this house needs to be decluttered from my clothes the kids clothes appliances um glasses i mean everything everything my craft room everything y'all
cleaned out. It was a mess. I tried to do it as quickly as possible and um, eliminate everything, kind of put it in a category, which I'll show in one second, so that it won't be so overwhelming and sometimes I can't decide on should I keep it, should I throw it away. I can't tell you how many times that I have kept something and no threw it away and I needed it or I repurchased it and so sometimes I do I'm like I know I have that I know I have that tool I know I have that product but I just can't put my hands on where I put it okay I try to put it on little little pals big ugly pals so right here is like all like household stuff um electrical tape hooks nails um, hammer measuring tape stuff like that and I'm gonna take that out in the garage and put it in Jason's tool thingamajig and then over here is like a ton and ton and ton of um, I don't know why I said ton so many times just supplies I didn't realize how many of these scissors that Josiah has I know when they have the back to school sales I do not need to get any more of those um, little scissors I see six pairs or four one two at least four right here and then upstairs he has some more um, tape pencils of course I'm gonna get pencil you always need pencils but um, yeah all this stuff is gonna go upstairs and then over here like I had like nails like little screws and stuff and I put them in this little thing so I can find them. So let me close this up so it won't fall on the floor. Some change. I was looking for this MVP card and the CVS card and I found them on Jason's little old keys because these, them cards is dirty. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm going to purge. I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to purge some of this stuff. Um, yeah, declutter get rid of so I think what I'm gonna do too in this drawer is put some cords um, some cords like chargers which it probably won't stay in there long at all and also like these little um, battery packs and stuff like that um, maybe stuff like this because I put it in my craft room and think I'm saving it these are like little earbuds um, cushions so if I put them in the drawer yeah and then maybe a few batteries not a whole lot but maybe a few so they don't wore this drawer slam out so now I'm gonna clean it out I had contact paper in it before I don't know if I'm gonna fuss with no contact paper I think I may have some somewhere but um I don't think I'm gonna worry about that right now y'all I just want to get it done and quick and then once I decide if I want to go back and do it then I can so yeah Okay guys, so this is what the junk drawer, or now I should call it, our essential drawer looks like now. So I'm going to go over everything, and I had this done probably over a week now, y'all. <laughs> but it's always noisy down here, and I was like, oh, let me go get my camera, or it's nighttime, or I'm doing something else. Okay y'all, so starting over here, and I do know, I think I said this in the other part, my drawers are a little bit longer than the average um, drawers at, you know, other people's houses, which is a love-hate relationship. But anyway, y'all, so I have these dividers that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, if you've been with my channel for a long time, you probably seen me pick these up. And, you know, if you're a Dollar Tree junkie like I am, we have some stuff that goes way back. So they may have brought these back. I don't know. They had them in black. Um, but these over here are not from Dollar Tree. I think I picked these up from like Harris Teeter or something. I was in there um, shopping and they were like on the low. Okay, y'all. So I ordered this basket though from Amazon. I had some stuff. I don't know. I may put the video together that I was getting when we were quarantined and I was ordering stuff online. And I do have the footage. I just have to 
put the snip it all together. So um, I got these little, I got my mask in here and the other ones I have like my dish towels and dish rags, cloths in there. And so this has everybody's mask in it. I just finished washing some and I just folded them in here. And then I have some of these travel packs. I have one right now in my purse. I haven't been able to find any more, but I went in Dollar Tree one day. They must just got their truck. They were at the front, and she let me get three. So I use those, and they're antibacteria. So hopefully I can find some more. Then I have a divider here, and then um, this Odo band. I was watching short mama couponer and she used this um when she got out of the store this is like at the beginning of the pandemic and i was like what is that i've never seen that before so i did look forward maybe once or twice um but is my phone my thing not phone my camera gonna focus but anyway it disinfects your clothing and well fabrics and it's also an air freshener but you just have to watch it like you know how now we do not like to um you're not supposed to touch your eyes even if your hands may be clean or sanitized so you use your you use your clothes so if you spray this on your clothes just remember you sprayed it on your clothes because you can get it in your eyes because i remember i did that one day but anyway um i don't use it a whole lot a little goes a long way but i have another bottle and they're only a dollar so it's like my thing does not even want to focus y'all so y'all can see there it go. So I think it's on the dollar aisle at Dollar General if you can find it. Or any of those dollar stores, dollar family dollar. Okay, y'all. So I have some masks here. These masks, I went searching everywhere. <laughs> Looking for some masks when everybody was like, I don't have a mask. I don't have them. We couldn't find any. Anyway, I knew we had some in the garage. Jason did find them. It was smelling like the garage. You know how it smells like gasoline and all that stuff. But anyway, y'all, um, I have some paper mask in here, and I'll probably get some more. Um, let's see, I have some batteries in here, and then I have some change and a house key. This kind of moves everywhere, but it doesn't really bother me. I can put some tacky stuff down there out of my craft room. I have a flashlight, and then up here I have another divider, and I have some Germex and um, some hand sanitizer. It's actually supposed to be another one here. I have not been able to find any more of these. Um, this is just refill from when I was able to find a lot of sanitizer on Amazon. And so I just refill these um, as needed. Then I have a box of Kleenex in here. Sometimes it doesn't really bother me, but sometimes maybe if it's Christmas or something, no, it don't really bother me. But you know how when you pick up your tissue and you're like, you, you look at the box and you see if it matches your decor in your house, everybody may not be like that. Sometimes I want it to match or be kind of neutral and sometimes I don't. But I think this is a great place to put it, especially when you got little hands and they just like to pull, pull, pull tissue out. So I put it in the drawer. I have some disinfectant. I have some um, bug spray. I have not been able to find any Lysol. My dad said he's going to look and see if he can find some for me. But this is from like picking up disinfectant spray from Dollar Tree way back. Okay, y'all have another little divider here. And we don't really wear the gloves unless we're pumping gas or something because of cross-contamination with the gloves. And I know a lot of people don't know how to wear them. And I took lots of healthcare classes, been a CNA. So I was trying to figure out a way to not do the cross-contamination. I tried the one glove thing. I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted to make a blog post and a video. But I just could not figure out how to... Um, shop without cross-contamination it was really hard um, even when you use Apple Pay or Google Pay or something like that you still have to touch the keypad even though you can use the little q-tip but anyway y'all I have some gloves in here I thought we wouldn't go through these like water but um, we I only put them in my purse for when I'm pumping gas okay y'all so then I have some of these little tissues I have more upstairs but if someone needs to grab some to take with them. And then I have some eyeglass cleaner here for um, everybody wears glasses except Saya and Catrell. And then I have some Emerge C. 
Um, I think everybody should have this on hand. I know a couple times I came back in here and I felt like my throat was sore or something like that. I took this and it was good. Some people say they take it every day. Um, but I, yeah, so I do need to get another one to stockpile. Another organizer here, I have some mosquito repellent bands. These came from Dollar Tree. They probably, I had them probably for a minute, but I stuck them in here anyway. Um, some sunscreen and some deodorant. So when Josiah is going to school, which I don't know what they're going to do with these kids. Um, don't want them to rush back to school, but I don't know what in the world, y'all. But anyway, when he goes to school, for some reason, this is one thing. Not just him, I think Jason too. They forget to um, maybe put on some deodorant. I think mainly Josiah. I don't think. Well, no, Jason. It's all the boys. So I have a little trial size down here. And then some oil for your feet. I don't think this is skin so soft. I think this is from the Dollar Tree. And um, I must have labeled this when we went on a trip or something like that. I don't know. But, you know, if your heel's ashy, you can slap some oil on it right quick. And um, this is something I have to go through, y'all. My husband stuck this in a drawer like that, and I'm always saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, they always doing stuff like this. <laughs> They'll have their whole, not wardrobe, but their whole toiletries, everything, brush everything down here. I would put a brush in here, but I don't think that'll be too sanitary, because they always need to brush their hair. Okay, y'all, so in here I have some chargers. I have some power packs. I have some of these little earbud things some extra ones that have a little flashlight um this is like a power charging little station we do use sometimes and then i have that little key that you use in your phone i just threw it. i didn't know where to put it and it's so small i probably should have taped it to the bottom of um this thing but it's in here somewhere where when you need to pop out your sd card or your sim card yeah that little key that's in your phone so i have that in there and I have some vitamins, um, a dum-dum. It was just, I didn't want to throw it away. It's for them, I remember to take my vitamins, most of them. So I put their vitamins here. So I doesn't really mess with it out of sight, out of mind. Um, some peppermints, or some likes peppermints. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. To help concentrate in thinking. So um, I bought them some the other day because he had a test to take and... Um, plus you should have some air, some breath fresheners anyway in your drawer you're about to go out of the house. So anyway, I stuck them there. It was a the perfect spot. Then over here I have some pens and pencils and a, um, notebook. So I think this was my notebook and I was using it. Then Jason started taking over. Both of us wrote in here. But he can pull out sheets. I can pull out sheets and take it with me. And then I have a little, I have so many of these y'all. Y'all don't see me pick up this stuff anymore because I have like, so I have like a whole bin full of like notepads and list pads. But anyway, this is a new one that I just pulled out. The grocery checklist from the Dollar Tree. And I just stuck that over there. So I really like, this is my favorite set of, of this drawer. This is the new way of life for all of us for a while. And um, I don't put like hammers and nails and all that stuff in this drawer anymore because I was staying up late doing a lot of projects when, which I still stay up late, when so I was little. So I didn't want to go out in the garage and get the items. But now it doesn't really bother me. Um, it's right there by the door. So if I need anything. But anyway, next I need to organize this I just need to sit down. I like the setup itself. I may need to purge some things, but I really need to just wipe it out, wipe the containers out, organize, and it probably won't take but a couple of minutes, and I need to do the next drawer over there, and then start on the cabinet. So, it's no rush. I'm not really um, stressing about it. It was just like some of my stuff was starting to come out of my cabinets, um, falling out my cabinets, and my boys are not putting my stuff back like it's supposed to and I really need a purge especially if you know if you want something new you got to get rid of what you you know the old stuff so I really like this um, drawer setup so when I go somewhere I do wipe this off but when I go somewhere I grab this 
I'll get a um I get a mask. Usually I have a mask in my purse. I do have one in my car. Um I have some wipes already in my purse, but I do keep some Lysol wipes in my car and I know you're not supposed to um it's a container that I have for a while. You're not supposed to leave sanitizer in your car either because on the back it says um, it's not supposed to get no hotter than 105 degrees or whatever. So I make sure I drop this back in my purse when I get out my car and then I put it back in there and then I have some at the door too. But the bottle, the lifestyle that I have in the car, the wipes that I have in the car is almost empty. So when I get a new pack like this, I'm not going to um, leave it in the car. Um, let's see. Does it say on here? I'm sure it does. But I don't know y'all. But anyway, thanks so much for watching y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, let me know, have you been organizing in your home? Um, I have a lot going on. But it's something I'm going to do slowly but surely. It's not a rush. And um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching y'all. Bye-bye. have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing